Hi, I'm Dennis Pegden, CEO of Simeo. I'd like to welcome you to this tutorial. In the next few minutes, I will walk you through a very simple model building exercise. The system we're going to model is a uh, simple flow line with two servers. So we have jobs arriving here, uh, moving to the first server, get processed one at a time. If that first server is busy, they wait in this queue. Once they complete processing at the first server, they move to the second server, get processed one at a time again. Again, if this server is busy, they wait in this waiting area. After being processed by server two, they then move, move here and depart the system. So we'd like to model this system to be able to study the, the impact of buffer sizes, how we allocate buffer space here on the overall performance of the system. So let's uh, move to Simeo now and uh, build a model of this process. Okay, so this shows the Simeo user interface. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a new model. And I can do that in one of two ways. I can either select new model up here in the ribbon, or I can come here into the start page and click on create new model. And we'll do the latter. So this opens up my uh, facility view of the model. And the facility view is where you would build a object-based model of your system. And the way you go about this is you select objects from one or more libraries over here. And we're going to be working with the standard library, which is a library that comes with Simeo. And the standard library consists of a set of objects, such as source, sync, server, combiner, separator, and so forth. That model common things that you encounter in, in, in projects. To model our system here, we're going to pull out a source whose purpose it is to create entities. Then we're going to place two servers, server one, server two, and then a sync. And then we're going to connect these with paths. So I'm going to double click on path to put me in path add mode, and I'll collect connect a path from the source to the server, from the first server to the second server, and the second server to the sink. And then I'll right click to exit out of path add mode. So here's our simple model. Entities come at the source, go to the server, server two, then to the sink. So we can run this model now. And we see entities represented by green triangles moving through the system. Now, as the model is running, we can also edit the model. So I'm going to add, say, another path from this source, bypassing the server, and going directly to server two. And you notice that the, the entities immediately start using the second path. And by default, it's going to randomly select between the two paths. We can also move the objects. And moving the objects as the model is running it's actually changing the model logic, because we're changing the length of these paths, and therefore the entities take more time to travel along the path. Now, we've been viewing this model in two, 2D, basically a top-down 2D view. If I hit the three key, on the, key, three key on the keyboard, it changes the model to 3D. And we see the model running in 3D. We can rotate it around, look at it from different directions. We can zoom out, zoom in pan around the model and so forth. So this is a very quick demonstration of uh, how you build a model in Simeo. Uh, if you'd like to learn more, we encourage you to look at the additional tutorials. Or if you'd like to uh, see how Simeo can be used to model your own systems, uh, please contact us. And we'll set up a personal online demo where we show in more detail how Simeo can be applied to your applications. Thank you.